Hi, fishy folks. Michael from Michael's Fish Room here. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com to buy some of the sweet guppies you see in my videos. So I'm going to be doing a guppy tub update, guppy pond update. I'm going to try to be doing those once a week, probably on Sundays, but you know, we'll see how it goes. You know, I don't stick to some kind of schedule really, but uh, let's, let's go ahead with the update. So if you remember, I started with these two uh, tubs, they're 18 gallon, they're called rope handle laundry tubs or rope handle tubs. Um, I got them at Home Depot last summer or last spring. Uh, I think they're about a six dollars each, five ninety nine on sale. You can find them for less than ten dollars, pretty much everywhere. I'm sure if you went to Walmart or one of those places, you could find them. All right, so uh, in both these tubs, I put two different kinds of guppies. I don't remember what I put in there to be honest, but uh, that's why I video things. I think these are co red cobra guppies, and I started with. Uh, the water hyacinth, basically an air stone, and uh, that's that. And then this week, a uh, one of my subscribers, Corona Ken, thanks Ken, um, called me up and said, "Hey, I've got some plants for you. Come pick them up." So uh, I think I think this is hornwort. Um, he sent he gave me a bag full of it, so I'm floating in here and in here, and also uh, I think there was some duckweed free of charge, which you know I don't really care about because uh, it's all good for the for the ecosystem in this tank in these tanks um he also gave me a small amazon sword i think uh and it's in the the angel tank right now but so really nothing exciting going on in these things um i put the tubs out <clears throat> last weekend Memorial day weekend it was like uh 85 degrees and 900 percent humidity and then for the next three days it was in the uh low 60s and a couple people uh, messaged me and said, oh, I hope your guppies are going to be okay. And I knew they'd be okay. I mean, um, I don't know how to say this without sounding like a conceited you-know-what, but I mean, my guppies are pretty hardy. Um, just this week, or actually two weeks ago, I sent guppies to a customer, and they got lost. They were in the mail for nine days, in the box, nine days. He got them. Both of them were alive and healthy. So, um, that being said, you have to have, you know, strong stock if you're going to put stuff outside in a pond and, uh, you're not sure about the weather. So take that for what it's worth. Those guppies survived in a box for nine days. It was in the low sixties, upper fifties for about three days here. These guppies were fine. Um, and so if you look over here, I have extended my little, uh, rack here. I just want to keep it up off the ground try to keep it away from frogs if I can and also from the dogs so they don't take drinks out of the water and get the runs um, you can see I have this little tote from Clarion um, as most of you know I work for uh, Subaru of America and we just moved our headquarters so for the last three months people have been throwing away all kinds of crap and I found this on the last day of our move before we moved uh, in a dumpster <clears throat> and I'm like that would make a perfect pond outside don't know how many gallons it is. I could probably measure and figure it out, but that would involve work. I'm assuming it's around 10 or, or 12 or something. So I'm going to clean it out, put uh, guppies in it. And then I'll, I have room for at least one more something, maybe another big tub like this or some smaller tubs. So uh, that's what we got going on. Now, let's talk about the Airstone. Uh, there is a gentleman who lives local to me, Ted Coletti, who wrote a spectacular book on outdoor ponds mini ponds i'm gonna put a link to uh amazon somewhere over here you guys should check that out actually in the description below there will be a link go check out amazon go buy his book you can buy a digital copy and read it on you know on your tablet or whatever it's spectacular it's it's really good he's done a couple different talks at uh at all my local fish clubs unfortunately i always miss them um because i'm traveling or i'm working so uh but you know, I have air stones because I think that's what these guys need. But uh, if you look at his book and look at any of his tubs, he doesn't have air stones or filters in any of them. So, uh, yeah, that's, you know, take that for what it's worth. Do what you will with it. But I'm just looking at that guppy. That guppy, you can't really see it, I don't think. But the tail was spectacular. Sorry, something shiny. You know how I am. Uh, go check out Ted's book. 
Link in the description for Amazon. Let's go check the other ponds. Well, fishy folks, we have a disaster. If you remember from my first pond video, this was uh, at least over that ridge uh, filled with water, and now it's not. Now it's quite a bit drained. So I'm assuming that where the duct tape is, it's actually still leaking water, and we're not going to be able to use this pond this year, especially when I leave for nine days. I can't rely on someone to come over here and fill it, which would be a huge pain in the butt anyway. So it looks like I'm going to have to take the guppies that are out of here. I'll probably put them in that uh, clarion tote, we'll call it. And uh, you can see over here I have another mechanism for holding water that's pretty cattywampus and probably needs to be leveled a little bit. That's a, a technical term, cattywampus. Look it up. It means crookeder than the cat's behind. Uh, anyway, I found this on the uh, on junk day, on trash day, and I thought that would make a pretty good uh, pond for swordtails. So that's the plan for this thing. Unfortunately, I asked uh, one of my sons to fill it with water a couple days ago, and uh, he just did exactly what I asked, fill it with water. So I'm going to have to maybe level out the ground, take the water out, level off the ground a little bit underneath it, and... Uh, Put some plants in it, put some swordtails in it. I think the swordtails are going to do phenomenal out here. Uh, they're going to grow big, colorful. So we'll see how that looks. But this uh, this is a little annoying, this, this pond here. I got this pond about two years ago. Somebody gave it to me. I don't know if it was leaking. I don't remember what he said. And I really don't want to ask him now because that would be kind of weird. But um, then it sat for a while because I didn't know what to do with it. And then last year the kids used it and I don't know. So, disaster. Not really, but maybe a little bit. Um, be nice to see some movement of guppies in here. I'm sure they're still in here. I'm sure they're still fine. But with all that leaf litter in there, you know, they could be anywhere. I did start taking some leaves out a couple days ago. But you can see there's some junk here too. Whatever. Uh, well, that's it for the guppy pond update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to check out Ted's book. It's really great. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, one of my subscribers who's local to me, who I know from the local fish store, Corona Ken, uh, called me up and said, hey, I got some plants for you. Come pick them up. And so I have some in here and I have some in here. And there's also, I think, a little sword tail, which I put in the angel tank, but not a little sword tail, a little sword Amazon sword. Wow. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day. I'm going to try to be giving you daily pond updates. Not daily. That would be silly.